In this video, we'll look at what happens when we have HNO2 in water. This is nitrous acid plus water. So the first thing we need to recognize is that HNO2, that's a weak acid. We know it's an acid. We see the H in front here. So it's going to be an acid, but this is a weak acid. And that's sort of something you need to memorize. Here's a list of strong acids and strong bases. So here's the strong acids, and we don't see HNO2. We see nitric HNO3, but not HNO2. So memorize your strong acids. You'll know that this is a weak acid, nitrous acid. Because it's weak, it's going to only partially break apart or dissociate into its ions. So hydrogen, that has a 1 plus ionic charge. NO2, the nitrite ion, that has a 1 minus. You could look that up on a table of common ions or just have it memorized. So we're going to put this in water. It's only going to partially dissociate. So we'll end up with H plus plus that nitrite, NO2 minus ion. So because it's only partially breaking apart, we should put an arrow here to show that it's an equilibrium. So some of this will break apart into these two ions. Some of these ions will come back together. But overall, you'll have an equilibrium where that continues to happen. So this is what happens when we put nitrous acid in water. We should write AQ after these here, aqueous, because they're dissolved in water. So that little AQ tells us that they're dissolved in water. Sometimes people will put an H2 above here, but since we have the AQ, that should suffice. One last thing, when we have this H plus in water, really what's happening is that H plus is joining with H2O to form this H3O plus. This is called the hydronium ion. So sometimes you'll see instead of H plus, H3O plus up here. They're really equivalent. We consider them to be the same thing in chemistry. So this is Dr. B with HNO2, nitrous acid plus water. And thanks for watching.